guys, it's Holly, and I'm kind of sick right now, so I sound like a man, so I'm sorry, but I feel pretty good, so yes. So last time I did a video, I sound awful, I am sorry. Last time I did a video on Japan Crate, it was awesome, and they have sent me a, another one, and this one is huge and ginormous, and... Yes, this is a lot larger than the other one. This has a lot more stuff, I'm assuming. So, let's just get started. Hashtag Japan Crate. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in here. This is what it looks like. There is a paper. Oh my gosh, it's like Christmas. Oh, how cute. So, this is the paper. It says, hi everybody. Happy November and thanks for joining us. For the next couple of months, we're going to be doing something a little different. In Japan, they have Gashapon, I don't know how to say it, machines, a very popular coin-operated toy vending machine, blah, blah, blah. We decided to use this idea for the next couple crates, introducing Candy Gashapon. We're going to be sending everybody a random set of candies, DIY kits, and drinks from a pool of 20-plus items. These treats are all of similar high quality and value. We have attached a sheet of what you have received. If you want to try something that you didn't get, we're opening an online store where you can find all the items that we've had in past crates and some you haven't seen. Very, very cool. So, this is the list of everything, and that's a lot of stuff. So, they have different types of um, boxes at Japan Crate. This one is the Premium Crate. So, let's get into this because there's a lot of stuff to go through. Okay. So, I'm just going to go straight for this liquid because this is a really large bottle of liquid that we have here, and I'm really scared. <laughs> I hope that was supposed to happen. Okay, I think that was supposed to happen. I kind of don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I think you're supposed to push. Oh, God. Okay, there. This smells really weird, people. So there's like a marble in there. I think this is how like the regular soda is over there. So I spilled this all over me. I was really scared of this, but it's actually not terrible. It almost tastes a little bit like cream soda but not um I don't even know how to describe it actually it's like kind of like cream soda but with a bad aftertaste I don't really like it so reading the little note by the way about that it says Ramune is Japan's most famous soda push the marble down to activate it receive anything from a fruity drink like grape to a savory drink like curry I think I would have rather have grape but whatever so next is this ginormous bag of what looks like to be baked potato flavor potato chips. It has a baked potato on it with butter. Um, did I get the wrong paper or something? I don't see this on the paper. So maybe I'm blind, but I don't see it. So this isn't on the paper that I got. I don't know why, but maybe it's butter flavor. It kind of just tastes like regular potato chips, honestly. They just look like regular wave, wave potato chips. I don't know. I guess they have a buttery flavor to them, but they just kind of taste like normal potato chips, so okay. Next is this, and it says it is called Petite Kuma Land. These limited edition cookies are cute and shaped like five different bears. The box is adorable. Oh, how funny! So they're like on little sticks, like they look like little like popsicles or something. That's interesting. It's very good. Kind of like Pocky. It's just like chocolate bear and the pretzel stick. Next is this Hisho no Kirby. 
and this is cola flavored gum that is created after Kirby and it comes with a sticker very cute so this is the gum doesn't look like anything fancy and then these are the stickers that I got they're very cute I like him with the umbrella and then it also came with this which I'm pretty sure is just part of the packaging but I guess you could color it if you wanted to it's very soft like bubble tape so the gum has a really good soda flavor, but it's like the kind of gum that you chew it and it just feels like you're chewing on nothing, and it probably is going to take a really long time to actually like make a bubble or something. So I'm just going to swallow it. Your mom always told you not to swallow your gum because it makes a ball in your stomach. Not true, so I'm just going to swallow it. Next thing I see, there are actually several DIY candy kits in here, which is really, really cool. So the first one is this one. And this one is called, so I think the paper that I got is wrong because the paper says that it's Choco, Choco Banana DIY, but this one is the Apple one, which I actually think I've done on my channel. Pretty sure I've done on my channel. Um, but, so I won't do, I won't do it right now, but basically you get like the little, um, candies and then you dip it in the syrup and then you can dip it in little candies and eat it like a candy apple. And it's really, really good. So that's really cool. If you want to try out some DIY candy kits, then you can get the, this premium Japan crate and you can get a couple in there, which is really, really nice. There's also another one which I haven't tried, which is this one, which is called Ice Bar DIY. And this one is where you can make little mini ice bars and then dip them in syrup and then in a powder. So I may actually keep this one to do a DIY. I might do a separate video on this guy. Um, but again, um, it's really cool that these come with DIY candy kits. So this one came with two of them, which is really cool. Okay, so next is this really cool package. And it is called Fuseno Mi Blueberry Gum. A bubble gum with three different types of blueberry flavors. Includes sour yogurt and regular blueberry flavors. So that is very interesting to me that it would have basically different kinds of the same flavor so it comes in this really cute little tin I really like it and it has like these weird little ghosty things I don't really know they're like eating each other I don't know that's weird oh okay so it has a little lever and you pull it and it opens the little hole so I got a little white one okay so my phone ran out of space but the first one that I had, the white one, was really good. It tasted like a blueberry yogurt, so I'm going to try another one. Whoa. Okay, so I got a dark pink and a light pink. So I'm going to try the dark pink. These are really, really good. I think it's kind of funny that they're pink and they're blueberry flavored. Um, not the light pink. These are really yummy. Like, I think these are, like, one of my most favorite things I've ever gotten in a Japan crate or any other type of uh, food box. Because they're super sweet and they're chewy. They're softer than a Skittle, but they taste very similar to a Skittle. But these are really, really yummy. So I'm going to eat all of these because they're really good. The dark pink, like, they're just different flavors of blueberry. I don't even know how to describe it. So the dark pink and the light pink are blueberry, but they have, like, different sweetnesses. One's supposed to be, like, more sour. But... If you like sweet stuff, then you will like these. Next are these um, Kit Kats that I just dropped everywhere. There's three of these Kit Kats. And I believe these are green tea flavor. And I'm actually not going to try these because I think I tried these in a video a long time ago. Um, but it's, if I recall correctly, it does taste like green tea. And I don't really care for green tea. But if you like green tea, then you will like green tea Kit Kats. So I got these and it says vitamin lemon. It looks kind of like medicine though, which doesn't really like appeal to me, but I guess I'll try one. So that is what it looks like. Oh my God. Yep, it's definitely lemon. I don't need to eat that anymore. It's just very lemon, hard candy. And for some reason that wasn't on my paper, so I don't know if I just got the wrong paper I don't know then we got this which is on my paper and it says Yumi gum a lot has been creating dish delicious flavors of chewing gum for decades and they recently renewed their flagship Umi or Japanese plum flavored gum mm, that sounds interesting oh it smells really good oh how cute so the gum comes wrapped with like a little heart 
um, on it, which is adorable. So, okay, so this is what it looks like, just a normal, regular stick of gum, like you would find in America. Oh, it's hard. Ew, is it spicy? Ew. I don't know what what it was. There's something about it that's like almost spicy, like big red. Like I hate big red gum. Because big red's like the cinnamon gum. Ugh. Yeah, I don't like that very much. I thought it was going to be more sweet, but it was like, I don't know. I didn't like it for some reason. Sorry. Okay, so next is this black black gum. And I recall getting black black like hard candies in another box and I'm definitely not going to be trying this because it is menthol which is like minty hardcore like cough drops stuff and I do not particularly love that flavor I even hate eating cough drops when I need them let alone as like a candy to eat for fun so this is the gum the other ones were like hard candies so if you like menthol flavor things, then I would try this black black stuff. I'm not going to try it because I'm probably going to like freak out and throw up or something. I don't know. I don't really like the menthol flavor. So that is the black black. Lastly is the black thunder, which I've had these before. And apparently they're super duper duper popular in Japan. They're really, really good. I guess I might as well take a bite out of it. I usually give them to my husband because they're really chocolatey. But... They're really good. They're kind of like crispy, crunchy. I think they have like pretzels in them and like chocolate crispies. It is very, very good. It's almost like an Oreo texture. Like if you crushed up an Oreo, mixed it with a pretzel, and then covered it in chocolate. That's what it is. So that's everything in the Japan Crate Premium box. And again, I'm kind of confused because this list is showing completely different things that I did not get. And I don't know if it's that... Okay, that's why. So it says receive 10 to 14 of the following. So that was my fault. I didn't read it. Like the lemon one's not on here. And the apple one's not on here. Maybe it just meant... I don't know. This is kind of confusing to me. Like I wish that it would just show you what you got instead of what you could get because... It's already hard enough that these things are in Japanese. I don't know that it needs to be made any more confusing than it already is. There are three different types of boxes you can get at Japan Crate. There's a mini that is $12 and has four to six items. The original is $25 and has eight to 10 items. The premium is $30 and it has 10 to 14 candies, including a drink and two DIY candy kits. All the information is down in the description. Please read it. You can click on more and it will open and there will be lots of magical information for you. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye!